It's a big moment for these naked mole rats. Time to clean the cage. Unlike others of their species, these cuties don't live in semi-arid eastern Africa, but in a lab in the German capital, Berlin. Keeper Gabriela Pflanz makes sure they feel right at home. They're very agile and lively. And their skin is so smooth. As you can see, it's hard to hold on to one for long. In the wild, naked mole rats spend most of their time underground in tunnel systems. This is where they usually sleep. And in this area here, where the exercise wheel is, that's the gym. And they usually go to the bathroom back there. Naked mole rats live in colonies that, for a mammal, are unusual. Similar to social insects like bees and ants, they have workers, soldiers, and a queen who bears all the colony's young. And evolution has adapted them to survive in extreme environments. They've developed a range of exceptional characteristics that fascinate scientists from different fields. Molecular biologist Gary Lewin has worked with the rodents for years. The aim of my group is really to try and discover what are the molecular changes that were, were wrought by evolution. What, what are the specific changes in the genome that allowed the animal to become so extreme? He and his team have decoded the cellular mechanisms that make the naked mole rat largely immune to stimuli that are painful for other animals. These results could help human pain patients. The scientists are also chasing down another lead they've discovered in the animal's genome. Naked mole rats don't seem to show any signs of aging. And for rodents, they can live extraordinarily long lives. Because they live for 30 years without any apparent diseases, it might help us to work out what special metabolism they have that protects them from getting diseases like diabetes or cardiovascular disease, cancers, and these, these sorts of things. Feeding time. Naked mole rats are vegetarians, and they don't drink water. The food they eat has enough to fulfill their needs. That's another adaptation to an arid environment and mole rat burrows don't have to be well ventilated. These rodents don't have a problem with low oxygen environments. This is actually fundamentally a very interesting phenomenon because it could be used in, in people because one of the major medical problems that, is, 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 that we have is, is brain damage through stroke. And brain damage through stroke is essentially just a hypoxic situation. Because naked mole rats breed quite slowly, the researchers mustn't injure or kill them in the quest to decipher their genetic secrets. So much of their work is done on kidney cell samples that have been multiplied with the help of modern replication methods. We try to produce from these kidney cells uh, stem cells in order to create different cell lines such as neurons or let's say pancreas cells to do other kind of experiments. In this way we don't always need a naked mole rat or a naked mole rat tissue to work with. We can use these cells to, for doing experiments. The animal's keeper wants them to be as happy and healthy as possible. For Gabriela Pflanz, the work is more than just a job. If I'm annoyed about something or stressed out and then come here and take care of them, the stress just disappears. It really calms me down. When it comes to naked mole rats, many unsolved puzzles remain, but scientists are working hard to solve them.